What's up guys, this is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire to War. Let's play as Spain. So to pick up on last time, um, we enjoyed a bit of a peace dividend from finally securing Great Britain and we declared war on the Prussians in order to take back or to uh, kick them out of their North African holdings. And I think we're going to be okay because they're not, they, they don't really have any strength to do too much damage to us, although we do want to slowly keep building up some kind of garrison in London. I also have my army, my main army is up here, uh, attacking Naples, trying to take it back from the Mughal Empire. And we're taking it steady because we do have limited income. And we've also been uh, pecking away at some of the British colonies. I think it might be actually time to manoeuvre another ship another attack into position. So let's get you guys out of Jamaica. Good stuff. Let's get you out of port. Fifth rate's not a great guard ship at this stage of the campaign, but uh, it's better than none. So I'm going to go for Curacao because Curacao's got a weaver's cottage. I mean, I might just... They won't, obviously they won't demand the surrender, but that's just not a, not a proper fight, really. I mean, we don't have enough money to build, to repair everything. Then we need to get another ship over to Grand Bahama before we can move out this force. And we've also got, oh no, did we move them in? We must have moved them in. Oh no, they have joined this force. Okay. I was thinking, oh wait, I've still got a ship stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. But I don't. But our Caribbean holdings are expanding, expanding quite dramatically. So New Spain. Hello, New Spain. I'm going to offer you some good tech. Can you give me three grand to pay for it? Good stuff. And with that 3,000, I can repair my governor's barracks. And upgrade the roads here and obviously get these guys retrained or retrained as much as possible to continue our onward adventures against Antigua and Trinidad and then that will make us the Caribbean we're in control of the Caribbean but what I do want to check is it's six turns till Holguin develops which is this port here which is usually always a, a naval port um, it could be useful to build one in Santo Domingo but you know, it's usually either Cuba or um, Santo Domingo. Leo Gain. Leo Gain, Leo Gane, Leo Jane. Four turns. Maybe this might be the military port. Whichever one develops first. But in one turn, we're going to get grenades, which gives us access to explosive shell research and measuring tools. But what I want to check how much does Britain like us? Plus three this time. It will slowly get better. We're upgrading the boarding house, but I do want to upgrade that school. We'll upgrade that free slot to a school to give us three universities. And three universities is usually all you need. Four is typically overkill, I find. Unless you are particularly lucky. To, if you capture a modern university in someone's capital, that's different. Because obviously it's the next tier up. Um, but in general... Three universities is fine. So in, in London, I'll be able to get a classic university. So if I manage to um, capture a modern university, maybe I might destroy the, the one in England. But it very much depends on the, um, the nation's... Uh, not clamour. I can't think of the word. Public order, that's it. So if you come across a modern university and the public order is terrible, the Barbary states want peace. No. Now oh, they're combining some ships to do some annoying attacks. So what would be interesting to do is... So you guys keep replenishing. Let's... Build more ships. Let's occupy ports and so on. 
but let's combine these fifth rates together. We will attack this fleet to make sure we kill them. But I just want to check a few bits and bobs first. Including, make sure you guys are, are replenishing as much as you can, which is great. But let's hop back over to the Americas. And this navy is going to go attack this pirate to try and capture their race-built galleon. Let's slowly try and um, expand our expand our fleet through capturing small ships like this. Let's make our admiral not go first. But yes, that's a proper looking pirate ship to me. <laughs> but yeah, we want to try and use uh, use the pirates' production capabilities in our for our benefit. So let's try and capture this here ship and bring it into the fleet. I mean, I do like the models in this game. The naval combat looks brilliant. It sounds pretty brilliant. Um, I'm, I I I swear I used to be good at it, but I'm not anymore. So they've got 28 guns. We've got. 48 guns and I'm, the only reason I'm going for it is because it has the word galleon in it and I'm playing as the Spanish so it feels right so let's break off slightly like into this direction let's break actually let's dissolve the fleet you guys go that way you guys go this way make sure you're both going at full sail Although you're not actually... You don't really want to sail that direction because it's too far into the wind. I mean, look at our ships. <laughs> look at the disparity here. Proper painted ship of the line, lift ship of the line-ish versus pirate ship. I mean, I might blast her once with chain, just to make sure she, uh, slow her down a bit. Foremost is gone. Oh, I've clicked the button. Fire! There we go. It's just to bring her into our service. Just keep the ballet going. Both our ships' sterns pointing the right way. Because I don't want her to so easily scoot away. So the Admiral's been killed, the pirate captain. I mean, I know it's a pretty bad position to uh, shoot at that ship to try and knock down the masts when they weren't furled, they were more perpendicular, well, they were parallel to the, to the line of the ship. There we go, she's wavering. 
I want to put you into a trade fleet, Galleon. Boom! This is technically a, a bad direction to pivot you, because it's going into the wind, so you will be a bit sluggish towards the end. Just keep peppering away. I mean, it's not getting any hits. Yeah, let's speed this up a bit, because right now it's just going to be... <laughs> Fire! Got it. We did, we did surrender it before I clicked that. There we go, let's bring the galleon into our service. So let's bring these ships back to Jamaica. And undergo repairs, because we want to go after that ship next. Havana! Okay, still, production is still a problem. What well, export of the goods is still a problem. Upgrade this town here in Portugal because it is prosperous. Prosperous towns will give you more money. Let's recruit some Swiss grenadiers for the London garrison. It's got some fourth rates, but there's no one to really focus them on except for, well, the Prussians, but there's no point because they're already quite decisively um, at war in Central Europe. So I can't move these guys out of Algiers, can I? I can! And they are being converted to Catholicism, like the good chaps they are. So I can move you guys up to the border. Genoa... I mean, Genoa is now... France allied, France allied... Oh, I was, I was wondering, why is Corsica not their capital? Because Tunis is their capital, isn't it? Okay, 29 cash. There's not a lot we can do. Let's check our research. Oh, and I meant to do stuff for this last time. Salamanca, let's get you on to joint stock companies. And Sevilla, keep cracking down the artillery tree. So let's have a look. So someone did point out to check my trade screen. I'm not, I'm not going to trade with Genoa because we are going to attack them. But I might trade with Persia. No, 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 no. I'm not going to give you fire by rank. No siree. I do not want that technology permeating around the game because that's how I don't want them trading it to anyone else. Okay. Maybe now I'll try and request peace with the Prussians? No. Fair enough. They want to continue this war. We will continue it. I mean, I might just attack Naples with what I've... No, actually, I'll leave it another turn. Just keep replenishing. We've got, we've got time. We don't need to spend the money. Because we've only got 29 gold as it is. Let's hit end turn. The French are going to help clear out the pirates as well. So I would like to start sending more ships out to the trade zones, really. But it almost demands a constant investment in ships. Which isn't... which isn't... it's not a deal breaker. It's just a an investment that needs to be made. But then again, we are Spain. We're supposed to have the Armada. I'm curious to see if New Spain will actually do anything under my sponsorship because I, they usually have a bad habit of just sitting there not doing anything. Which obviously isn't what I want. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, good luck trying to blockade the 
Bahamas when there when there's a port when there's a full stack sat there. Okay, so Curacao's got cobbled roads. So let's keep the replenishment going. Let's first of all move one sloop out. So this army can march over. Okay, actually move them back in for now. New port emerges, Newcastle in England. Um, hmm. I'm going to make it a trade port just because I don't actually recruit enough ships as it is already. I want to get a fifth rate on the go. What do I get? I buy a single war galleon to get ready to send out east. What I might do is take these two ships down to Sandy Bay, where my main fleet is. These six rates and the galleon can go out to the Americas. This brig can take over guard at Cartagena. The militia can go back to Madrid. So I declare war on them. Oh no. Oh well, good. <laughs> I was going, oh no, they're allied with Spain and France. Wait a minute. Um, I'm not going to call my allies in because France is already at war with them and New Spain is irrelevant. To be honest, I might just be able to demand the surrender. Nope. Well then. Let's go and take Tunis. Take Tunis, then we've then reopened our borders with the uh, with the Barbary states. And we've also solidified control over the Western Mediterranean in our favour. Misty. Okay, so our cav cavalry force is going to drive up the left flank hard. Form up our infantry to push around to the left of the town. The Spanish bandits, let's have a look at them. Again, they're similar to pirates. They're not the same skin, but the same idea. They've got pistols and they've got some... Some, uh, they've got swords. But they're pirates. Yeah, so their army looks impressive on the field. But it's mostly militia. They do have mortars, but that's why we're storming up quickly. It might do some damage, but we've got significant fire by rank capabilities. Keep our cavalry moving around the flank. Our infantry is going to successfully get into position, so let's just quickly rejig these guys to bring them up a bit closer. We can also move these guys up as well as move these guys up. Let's get within musket range of those cannons. So these guys are, are walking hidden, stealthing their way through the town. Stealth and deception are likely not going to be high on our list of things to be worried about. So let's charge these firelock armed citizenry. Because the enemy seems determined to get itself in a position to be, if not surrounded, heavily threatened. But as, as you can see, our fire by rank advantage is 
well, obviously not with our militia units, it's not a big deal, but for our line infantry units it is. Let's actually do that. I don't want to deprive my militia of a chance to do some good work. Those file lock arm citizenry are routed as well. Just make sure they're all shattered, that's what I'm bothered about. I just want to make sure they don't come back. I mean, to us it looks like it's not going to matter. The garrison has fallen so quickly. just going to treat it as an opportunity to get some kills. It doesn't look like anything... <laughs> well, you can't really blame them. We've, we have just so much more... significantly more firepower at our disposal. That's not even the guns. Cease firing, all of you. Just let my cavalry have fun. Because we don't even need to kill them all, but there's just so many of them. They're going to kill however many run through their line. Just keep... Just kill as many as you can. Does not matter who. Fine, go after them. But yeah, routing through towns makes it a bit funky. So you can see where they've all spread out to. But it doesn't matter who we kill. Just anyone will do. Damn right it was decisive. They didn't even have a garrison. They only surrendered because they thought they could stand up to us. No siree. 125 men and we took Tunis. City is ours. So there's the Italian states. They've not... It's Enrico Cabotto, but they've not pushed on Tripoli yet, which I'm glad about. Okay, let's repair one building, but let's spend whatever little coins we have on replenishing. I don't think we can... No, we can't do anything else with the money we've got, so I might send my... Spy... On to Cairo. It's going to take him a few turns to get there, but that's okay. So apart from that... 3,700 next turn. Because we are losing... Some stuff through raiding. So let's go... Oh, it's just a brig this time. Oh, I lost my galleon. And the brig didn't even die. What? What? That's some kind of super brig. But I'm pretty sure actually I can recruit... Yeah, I can recruit fifth rates from these docks. But yeah, next turn these guys can embark. And then we can sail on to Antigua. Four more turns till we get some good tech. I got up to 6,300 cash. Yeah, I'm going to be able, I'm going to be able to build up quite a decent little force actually to uh, protect the Caribbean. It won't be a heavy fleet, not for some time, but that's not really what we are focused on at the moment. It's going to be light. It's going to be ambush tactics against um, the pirates. And this is why we're quite fortunate in the position we're in. Because we've actually got... Well, I don't want to speak too soon. But apart from the Mughals, they haven't really got any major enemies to focus on that aren't now bottled up in the Mediterranean. I don't like what's happened there, because that suggests the game might have crashed. So what I'm going to do... Okay, good. What I'm going to do, stop my computer from freaking out and I chop the recording and bring you guys back in a second so see you in a minute everyone
no sooner had I chopped it, we're back. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was afraid that something badly wrong would have happened. Ooh, the Mughals are sallying out at Naples. Let's take them out. I'd like to take Rome at some point and become the true, uh, the true center of Catholic power. To be honest, I might do depending on who they're allied with. If they're not allied with anyone important, I will replenish at Naples and take Rome. Because that will be quite a significant territory to capture. But it does, like I say, it does depend on who they are allied with. So, I mean, we are just going to be deploying in a fairly bog standard formation because uh, we significantly outnumber them to the point where I'm not going to deploy all my guns the cavalry is going to hunker down I'm going to have a unit of a block of infantry sat waiting these guys are all going to deploy trenches as were you guys except for you you can join these guys And these guys. I want to stay deployed down in the valley floor. Spread these men out. Yeah, so they're selling, and it's like, well, yeah, fine. I march these guys up here, and then I might use them to push if they decide to be uh, frustrating and not actually attack. But my guns are focusing on those camels. I've not achieved any hits. Let's get these guns to focus on the elephants. To be honest, it looks like I'm just going to have to be on the go on the offensive because they're not going to they're going to take their sweet ass time forming up. So let us advance. So who's over here? One unit of armed populace. You guys are going to be in position. You guys are going to get left out of it, I would imagine. Run, 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 run. Hey, maybe they're not going to be out of it. These guys might be in the thick of it. Let's pivot you guys. I know there's a weird little gun position there. Or a little cliff, cliff area. General's bodyguards lost a bunch of ellies. So they're not going to be around for very long. Yeah, there go the camels. Get this regiment of horse to smash into that armed populace. Good, we've got some hits. My grenadier's got a couple of kills. Oh good, these guys are firing at the armed populace, so they're firing by rank into this big block of men. You guys push up to the cliff edge. Just 
to use my cavalry to make the, the easy kills. So that my armies can keep pushing. Oh, the Sikh warriors are coming in. Don't worry, these men are pike men. Counter charge. Okay, you men push up. So those guys, thank fortunately, put a volley into the back of their own men. <laughs> okay. Let's keep cavalry coming around. Get my pikes to charge the pikes to charge the, the camels that are coming in get my infantry to push on into the combat you guys i'm pretty sure have to run all the way around uh, just up here i guess because they've charged into the musketeers My pikes have had a wonderful, wonderful time against the camels, so just keep pushing, I guess. Halt the artillery fire. Oh, it would have been the artillery fire has caused my grenadiers to rout. So you men, 13th Regiment, get one volley. Or I guess not. Just get in there. Oh, the general's bodyguards coming in. You men, fire like there's elephants coming your way. No, you got to reload. <laughs> Swarm the elephants. You men, continue the charge. No style, no finesse. These horsemen think they've got what it takes, but my pikemen say otherwise my pikemen and my grenadiers so once they fall there we go there go the end there goes the general's bodyguard So everyone just surround. Just surround and destroy. See, it says my pikemen are losing so uh, shortly, but that can't be true. Well, they're not losing as badly as these Sieg Musketeers are going to against my cavalry. It wasn't quite the devastating charge we'd like to see, but there we are. Hindu musketeers are holding us off. To be honest, even if we lose men, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't change the grand scheme. This army was always going to stay in. It wasn't always going to stay in Naples. It's going to stay in Naples for the foreseeable future until we work out exactly what we want to do. Kind of a regiment of de Sevillas charging in. Then when you've broken the Sikh Musketeers... I mean, this is going to be pretty good. Don't worry, as long as they don't come from behind, we're okay. Oh no! They came from behind! Oh, there they go. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah, a bit bloodier than I would have liked, but I think uh, I think we can we can deal with that. So here come the Italian states. They're doing some good work against the Barbary states for us. Now I've taken Tunis. I might actually want to 
Now they demand peace. No. The end is near for you, Barbary states. So here at Tunis, we probably do want to just do a bit of basic statecraft. But over here, you chaps take the take oh, take as much money as you can because you need to. <laughs> okay, going to lose five hundred men to that archer unit, but whatever. So Rome is right there. It's the only territory they have. And the Italian states are a protector of Dagestan, as usual. But we're already at war with Dagestan, so who gives a damn? So we might take Rome. But like I said, we can take we can stand to wait a bit because there's only one force here, and they've actually got a bit of a we've taken a bit of a drubbing from the Barbary states as it is. So Algiers, because I do want you to build your first, your only town. But apart from that, you guys hop out of port. You men embark. Then send the sloop on to Antigua to see what we are up against. Nothing. We're up against nothing. So, land. Demand the surrender. Very well. We will maintain siege because we have no money. This is probably the smarter thing to do. Let's brew. Actually, no, you've already got an ad. No, you don't. There we go. Move our fifth rate admiral over to join them. We can drop. One of these brigs into Port Pay. To be honest, you guys might actually be better served being embarked and shipped over to the main effort. But soon we will have another port built so we can keep these sloops ready to occupy those. Three more turns till we've got some new technologies. It's nice to retake Naples because we all know how valuable Naples can be if appropriately managed. Let's just send a block of men up to go destroy that last dervish unit. Fortunately, that means they they have no they didn't damage it wasn't damaged at all, which is lovely. So 8,700. That's a lot of cash next turn. That's quite good. Yes, I do want to build Tunis up to be a bit of a troop factory, or at least a bit of a bulwark against the Ottomans, and I want to take Rome due to it being a fantastic opportunity target. I mean, it's a big city. It's right next to my front line. It's a city I would like to take. I think the Louisianans might be going after the, uh, the Pueblo nations, or at least I hope so. Um, yeah, it's a fantastic city to take, especially as we're already at war with the people they're involved in with anyway. Ooh. Cuckold, Fancy, Ranger and Retribution. We've already got a Retribution. Joseph Worley. Nation destroyed Hanover. So who's taken their, them out? Westphalia. Okay. So we found one of their agents. They've probably attempted to do something sneaky. So this army... Pick up another gun team. Otherwise carry on as you were. Newcastle has been recruited. So let's get a sloop to occupy you. Plus 10. Plus 10 happiness. So if I build a school... That equals it out, so let's keep the... Well, do I just build a Jesuit college? No, we have no religious unhappiness anyway. I think we'll be okay to leave it for the time being. That's a hell of a name. <laughs> let's get this war galley over to the Americas.
Get two more fifths. Good. Apart from that, I think we are actually in, we're in really good shape. We're in really good shape. Just take things steady. Don't have to worry about annoyances like this. You join up with them. They're being attrited as they as they uh, sit there, but I might actually just attack them just to get it over with. We've made some really good progress this episode, and we've still got a bunch of it to go. And I think a big part of that is due to the fact that we haven't got any major um, enemies that are being too belligerent. We're able to make that rapid progress. Okay, so gunners out wide. Pike's going to work their way through the town and be... Um, Artillery fodder. My pikes and my colonials are going to work their way around the right flank. My frontiers are going to be very far out wide with my cavalry. I might send another militia unit to go through the town. Send the pikemen just to charge the howitzers anyway. But yeah, the end is the end is going to be here for the enemy. Yeah, they're focusing on my pikes. They're going to do lots of damage as they storm through the town. To be expected. I might send this colonial militia to just melee charge the mortar garrison while my actual infantry position pushes through. Cavalry stay wide. So I want to tantalize this pirate mob on the right flank to expose themselves. Something more like that. I mean they will get my cavalry will get shot at, but it's manageable. Pikes are charging straight in. And provincial cavalry is taking some hits. I mean, we're just gonna we're just gonna swarm, 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 attack Pan and Alpha. I think. Because my pikes are doing. Really good work against the firelock arm citizenry. That's not a big ask, is it? There we go. They've been pushed back. See, who said pikes are rubbish? Skirmishes are slightly feeling a bit left out. <laughs> Chase down the second light foot. Well, there they go. <laughs> oh. So in one episode we might have just completely smashed the Caribbean. So we can repair the governor's barracks, we're going to knock down the shipyard. Can't build better roads, but we do have a high yield plantation we're going to add to the market. Good stuff. Two turns to a new tax. So Newcastle's getting their sloop. So London's going to be booming pretty well it's 
Yeah, it's overtaken Madrid as my most valuable region. But then again, I do have some extra upgrades I can get for Madrid, which I probably should start working on as I've got the uh, the funds to do it. So I'd like to take Rome. I'd also like to take Patras and Athens to establish a bit of a Greek outpost against the Ottoman Empire, as well as pushing against Cairo. But I do really, really want to take Rome, because Rome is a beautiful city to take. Yeah, my spy's okay. Nation destroyed. Poland, Lithuania. God, Austria and Russia have gobbled them up. Don't worry, Tunis. You're not bankrupt anymore. A conservatorium and a barracks. You can get a tenanted farm. I suppose I need to punt this guy out of Safaki, which is probably safe to stay as a shipyard, I think. Towards the east in the Med. New port emerges in Hispaniola, so let's get you and turn you into a shipyard. And then let's recruit a buccaneer to occupy the shipyard. There we go, we have ships to join the fleet. You get recruited a sloop in the North Sea in Newcastle. Good stuff. Okay, we could upgrade the government's building in Gibraltar, which I may as well. I think next turn is going to be the turn I upgrade my um, government building in in uh, Madrid. So you guys need more money. Let's hit end turn again. Yeah, the French help keeping the trade lanes clear. There's not a lot I can do to help them because I need the ships. The ships I have strategically placed around, I have strategically placed around for a reason. I would like to build up a trade fleet in the Caribbean and send it out, but obviously I just need, I just need to get around to recruiting it. Because penny packets of ships get swept up really quick. But I do have some ships sailing over to the East Indies. Or the West Indies. Have you ever seen that Mitchell and Webb sketch about the West and East Indies? And who's the captain? And who wears the captain's hat? Who gets to name the place? It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, looks like Ottomans are going to Ottoman. So I'm going to quickly chop the recording and bring you guys back when they're done. Radio. So what they were apparently working up the courage to, to do was to blockade Porto. So I want to uh, kick out that Ottoman navy with my probably my home fleet towards the south. But then again, it depends what these Genoans are going to do. Okay, they need to get taken out first. Because that will significantly impact our income for this turn. As will that. As will that. Am I bankrupt? 891. I'm still slightly positive. My well, minus eight, no, minus 500. So as long as I don't. Well, this is the big one here. Two fifth rates. Delicious. Let's bring you guys into the into the fleet. I am going to attack it because if I auto resolve it, I'll lose ships. Well, I don't want to lose ships. As long as I keep Cartagena free, Cartagena, one or the other, if I, as long as I keep them free, I'm pretty okay with almost everything. Obviously, I'm in a terrible position when it comes to the wind. Their ship's heavily damaged. I think we would be foolish 
to give up this opportunity, especially as they have less than half their guns. So let's just let them creep towards us. We don't want to commit to moving unless they try and sail like this and cut in, commit, cut in behind us. So these are our first fourth rate ships of the line. San, San Herman Gilido. Herman, Herman Gildo. <laughs> And uh, the San Juan Evangelista. The beginnings of a mighty armada. So let's scoot our ships along. But yeah, if you want to resolve, we all know what will happen. I'll lose. I'll lose ships, even though then their ships are completely knackered. I mean, look at there. Hull strength and their morale. This guy's only got 18 guns. I assume when they do this, they meet the damage is evenly distributed. I guess. Yeah, the faster fifth rate means we have to turn slightly more with the wind so we don't lose position. Ships might be faster, but we've got more oomph behind us. So we're going to make the first fourth rate fire chain. So they are turning slightly, well, they were changing their course slightly to the left. But let's knock out, knock some holes in their sails. A couple of guns have already been fired, but it doesn't matter. Blast them! So as long as I can get in front of them, in front of this fifth rate, then I'll be happy. Get in front of them, make them halt, pour broadsides into them. Okay, so all of you work on just getting behind these guys. Mainmast is down. You guys can drop anchor and just pour fire onto them. Main mist on the rear, most fifth rate is gone. So at the very least we know they can't outspeed my my fifth rates. Okay, there we go. These guys just drop anchor. You guys might actually try and sail. Whoops, I've accidentally minimised. I wonder what that's done to the recording. Sacra Liga. Sacra Liga. He's on fire. Okay, right, let's make a bit of speed away from it. Lest she explode. Take one of my glorious fourth rate ships of the line with you, with her. Make 
ready. Fire! There we go, that ship has surrendered, so let's get our boats away from it. Because that fire can spread and it can cause the ship to detonate. Lovely chain shot target. Let's pivot this ship about. It's routing and wavering. About to say routing and wavering. Continue. Fire! That should cause her to surrender. Good stuff. So that's at least freed up our home port. Brought two powerful ships into the fleet. Granted they're very damaged. We don't have we don't have the money to repair all of them but we can repair most of them ready to go and hit this ship here or this fleet up here with two more fifth rates. The Iroquois Confederacy have been destroyed and Greece has risen. Sorry Greece you might get. So Greece has risen because France have knocked out the Iroquois Confederacy. Oh, Galway has emerged as well. Port blockaded, port blockaded, port blockaded, port blockaded. Fear not. Soon the end of the pirates is nigh. Okay, so two new techs. So Sevilla is going to keep, wants to keep working on wedge, but instead you're going to work on longitudinal watch. To gain movement speed. Salamanca, you want to continue. I mean, you might go for Wealth of Nations, but it's another three turns. It's a valuable technology, but I think I also want to pair that with upgrading the universities. But I do have the tech now for it. Oh no, I don't have rights of man. No, not yet. Tunis is hopefully the bankruptcy should start to become less of a problem because we aren't bankrupt. But yeah, the Prussians have been consumed, and the hopefully the Austrians and the Ottomans. Hopefully, the, well, I imagine the Austrians and the Ottomans are probably having quite a significant engagement because that's part of the reason why they are um, not actually sending that many forces after me. Like, one naval uh, raiding mission near one of my ports doesn't really count. Um, but again, Ottomans are Ottomaning. So, see you in a second, everyone. And we're back. Unfortunately, the new Spanish are back helping protect my ports. Oh, don't you just love New Spain? They've just gone out and cleared out all my ports. Beautiful. Thank you New Spain. Obviously the Mughals are going to Moogle. At some point we are going to have to launch an invasion of India. I am keeping an eye on the uh, Italian presence in no, no peace. So I'm glad these guys aren't doing anything. So I have a number of things I need to do. Replenish this army here. Fix the governor's residence in Naples. Then I must go back to here. Where almost everyone except for this force here can Sally. So yeah, you're definitely not fixed. Everyone else is, I think. You're going to go out and attack the Ottomans here. 
we have a school at Cambridge, which we're going to set to research. A flying shuttle for the lack of something better. New port has emerged in Cuba, so you're going to become a trade port. So let's ship this brig over to occupy the port. But what we do need to do is make sure these guys are replenished and that I've got a... Well, that's going to be the start of a naval force to go out and start trading. Did I forget my... Did I miss my fleet has arrived marker? Because what about all those sick rates, those diddy ships? Are they still tr making their way across the uh, the ocean or did I miss the... Yeah, I missed it. Okay, let's go to San Juan. We can pick up that war galleon. And we can take these small ships. Let's get them off to the East Indies. But what we need to do is go ahead and take you, Antiano de Cas Castaneta, of the Castanet fame, the Castanet fortune go and knock out these um, Ottomans and again um, need to do it manually because I don't want to lose any of these ships. I'm building up quite a decent force here actually and I would prefer to keep it intact to at least potentially dispatch some of them to a trade theatre. Good the evening mist. Where's the morning mist? That's the west. So, well, according to the compass, it's to the west. Even though I'd think it's the other way around, but whatever. Okay, you fellows. It's like that scene in Master and Commander. Wait a second. I thought I saw a shape. So unfortunately, really, my fourth rates didn't get didn't get any uh, battle experience out of that. But there we are. The two fifth rates are up front are the ones we want. The Jebek and the Brig can be scuttled. Okay, good. It looks like they want to keep engaging us at range. That's all well and good, but I don't think it's going to... Or they're going to wait till they can get round to the rear of our formation. It's not the best outcome, because look, they, well, I know what they want to do. They want to try and pick at the rear of our ships. So rather than sail into the wind against them, I'm going to loop my ships around. If that's their dastardly goal, try and pick at the rear of our formation, which is the smart thing to do. Oh god, no, now what are they doing? I think I might just have to sail against the wind into them, because otherwise they might just keep going. Sail against the wind of this set of ships. These men come right in. Naval naval warfare sucks.
They're giving us the proper little run around. Ah, just get up in their faces. Have to close the distance somehow. So let's micromanage. some of these ships to provide some level of fire support against the oncoming so that my fleet can actually get up into position. So I'm playing it, I'm, I'm I was playing it sped up but that's chiefly because I suspect not very much is going to happen. Or at least not very quickly. Okay, so make you guys attack that fifth rate, make you guys keep just shooting up, make sure you guys keep just sail up into them, because they really I mean they are playing it well, like they're being they're being you know flighty and staying at range and all that lovely stuff but from players perspective it's like ugh like they're playing the naval game well Clear them out. <laughs> it's never, oh, it's never fun sailing, fighting a long naval battle, sailing into the wind. But it looks like they might have had enough of it too. Of it, pour some shots into the front of that fifth rate. Let's gang up on that fifth rate with them. chain so with their starboard gun battery they can do a lot of damage to these masts come on turn on a dime That Jebek has lost all of her masts. Give this fella a bit of a trim. Same with this fella, firing. Build the speed from the Santissima Trinidad. There is the Santissima Trinidad. Not the Santissima Trinidad. A Santissima Trinidad. Yeah. I've dismastered the, f <laughs> dismastered the Santissima Trinidad. But it made the fifth rate route. That was the end goal there. Surrendered. 
Jebek surrendered. They've all surrendered. Yes, they have all surrendered. Good stuff. It wasn't close. It was annoying because they were skirting away from me. Granted, they were doing they were doing what they should do. So I can't grumble too much. But as someone who's bad at naval battles, I need them to do what they what's good for me. Okay, I don't know why I can why I can't pick that last one up. Let's get you guys back to port. Now I have enough money to rebuild my entire fleet. That's nice. You guys are still doing a bit of replenishing, but soon we will. Well, we'll put the capital under siege. I don't know whether I'll, I'll directly assault it yet. That's a good admiral there for the Ottomans. But I do want to keep building up my little trade fleet. Really, that's what I want to do. So what you end up needing to have is lots of trade fleets ready to sail out and then like replace each other as and when they get attacked sail them back get them under refit get them replenished get them back out you have this whole apparatus that sits there sending ships backwards and forwards so it can get a bit involved at times but i think it's worth doing but classic ottoman style see you in a minute god now sweden's even causing problems So there goes Georgian Navy. Don't tempt me, pirates! 8,000. So, what I want to do is make sure I've got my little... My little fleet. I'm pretty sure the... Ooh, Ivory's now... Ivory's now top dog. So let's go... I know that West Africa has some slots from previous engagements. Build a trade port and make sure you guys are fully replenishing. See these guys. See, I should take it, but it's the sort of thing that I, once they, once you start doing that, I'll, I'll end up chopping the recording and not showing you guys because you guys don't want to see lots of little battles fighting over one one single solitary sloop. So we need to upgrade this port because Cuba is, going to, is not going to be exporting everything we need it to. Let's hop back to Europe because we do have two more fifth rates which I'm going to send to meet up with my other ships in the West African Trade Theatre. Let's build another fifth rate. I need to start building up a fleet like this to go out there and protect it. Two sloops, but I'm waiting on my orca to grow. Villages aren't growing. That's not ideal. My Naples force is still replenishing. To be honest, no, actually, no. I was about to say, is it better to attack Tripoli and get them to teleport away? The answer is no. I want to attack them at Rome so that they don't teleport back home. I need to keep them there. Nation destroyed Venice. Is that the French? The French are going on a tear. Soon they're going to be at war. They're going to draw us into war against the Austrians, no doubt. Okay, I think I'm going to... Okay, 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 so... Okay, all the research and research is still going well. We're at 8,100, except we're losing some income from this trade... Well, this pirate swine. Policies are still down low, which is good. So I'm going to take out this galleon without showing you guys... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go take this galleon. See you in a second, everyone. 
Yes, there we go. So that's another ship brought into the brought into the fold. The new man go back to Kingston. Machine is going to our actual shipyard now. Get some repairs underway. Good stuff. Gibraltar's got been upgraded. Tunis, lots of good upgrades in Tunis as well, including ships. Might get away with trying to do some raiding because we do have that's a lot of 666 that can't be how much we're earning no i was gonna say another another hundred or so from raiding let's see naples could really do with some upgrades especially farming ones but let's hit end turn a spy is in Cairo. At some point, the French and the Austrians will fight each other. They just will. Okay, and it's Ottoman time. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of uh, constituent parts in this episode. <laughs> and we're back. Um, but I... Curious now, because it actually looks like Russia might be uh, being a bit tricky. Oh well. But yeah, soon, the sooner we, we bring war to the Ottomans, the better, I think. And it looks like Sweden has has managed to dominate the uh, has managed to dominate the the Scandinavian areas and, take, and, has, and has taken Denmark. So there's a chance that they might soon push against us. We do just need to be a bit careful. They still want peace. No peace for the Barbary States. Longitude watch has been researched, which is excellent, because that means I can probably take my... my race-built galleon, at least. Get them over to the West African Trade Theatre. Agent recruited. Gentleman in Spain. Let's get over to Salamanca. Don't it's never normally worth dueling. Let's upgrade the school in England to a college. And let's upgrade an iron workshop to an iron master's works. And then down here in Naples, let's get some farming upgrades. Proper proper farming upgrades, not uh, vineyard upgrades. Well, I might want to keep some troops because now might be the time. Italian states. They're indifferent and we're trade, but we are trading with them. That's the annoying thing. But they are at war with France. So France probably doesn't like us trading with the enemy. Dishonouring treaties, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, they're at war with the French. It would be good to take them. And ultimately, if we don't take them, the fr take it. The French will. Very well. Italian states. Cancel the trade agreement. Declare war. Do not call in my allies. Whoops. New man will march on the capital and we will probably not attack them. We'll let them sally a few times because they've got quite a good army and I've not got... I don't know, it's a pretty good army. It's all those mortars that I'm concerned about. I'm really concerned about attacking forts with lots of mortars when I don't have good howitzer technology to help clear the way. Ooh, marine grenadier. Let's get one of those. Let's get my fifth rate back into port, because then chances are the Italian states will deploy their navy to do something bad to us. So I might even bring this fifth rate back to my home fleet, lest they push against Cartagena. 6,800, so we did suffer 
from making that trade. Uh, you guys need to shuffle these guys back over to Kingston. So I do need actual ships to what to sit in the harbour. Diego de Cordoba. Let's embark them aboard the ship, the sloop Phoenix. Sail on to San Jose de Arona. Oh, very well. Well, we, I, I, I don't really quite know what the timer is. I'm sure we're a bit over, but that's all. That's fine. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope you even got, hope you guys you guys have um, have found this switch to hour long episodes better. I do accept that as this four campaigns, it's a lot of content to get through at once. But I'm hoping once one of my campaigns end, which is probably going to be Louisiana, it will become a lot more a lot more manageable uh, with with just three. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the pirates. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>